Chicago saw its largest spike in coronavirus infections in May. Now the city is seeing a leveling out in cases, and it's looking ahead to its economic recovery. This morning, the city is out with a comprehensive plan on its path forward. And joining us right now to talk all about it is Chicago's mayor, Lori Lightfoot. Mayor Lightfoot, thank you for being with us today. It's my pleasure. Before we talk uh, about the economic plan to help revive everything, let's let's just talk about where you all are right now. Um, I realize you guys are, I think, in stage four of reopening. Things are starting mm -hmm. to come back, but there are also a, a number of important Chicago employers that are looking at additional layoffs and furloughs to come, including United, Boeing, and Hyatt. So where, where do things stand on the ground right now? How are you all doing? Well, I think from a... Uh uh, managing the public health crisis, I think we're doing pretty well. We were very, very cautious and conservative and starting to slowly reopen. We called it turning a dimmer switch and not flicking a light switch. So I think that served us well. But we're certainly conscious of uh, areas all around us where we're starting to see, they're starting to see an uptick in cases. But on all the uh, major indicators, hospitalizations, ICU beds, number of people on ventilators, uh, we are headed in the right direction. But daily, we continue uh, to preach dil diligence. But look, our region's been hard hit, just as other regions across the country uh, have been hard hit. So that is why we needed to um, get ahead of this and really take control of our own destiny when it comes to economic recovery. So we spent 10 weeks um, really digging deep into looking at our region's strengths, not just from an economic standpoint. So this recovery task force uh, report and recommendations is about how we bring more people into the workforce, that we focus on our key strengths in areas like manufacturing, transportation, and logistics and life sciences, um, and really start to think about what we need to do to create a vibrant economy that is much more inclusive. And workforce development, of course, is uh, key among some. Yeah, this is a pretty ambitious plan. It's trying to take a, take a stab not only at fighting every, the, everything that happened to the economy during COVID, but also long-term problems that you've identified in the city uh, in, in terms of inclusiveness, in terms of racial disparity. What are the, the main overreaching goals with this? What are the three things that maybe you think you can do as a result? Well, one is build a much more inclusive economy, and you hit the nail on the head. Uh, we've been investing in areas of our city, uh, particularly in our south and west sides, that really haven't seen much in the way of development in decades. We know that the only way that we grow the economy and grow our population is making sure that we create real pipelines to good-paying jobs for black and brown Chicagoans uh, who have not been uh, dealt into the economic success that we've seen in years past. That growing of our workforce means that we have a ready, willing, and able workforce to really focus on our strengths, like tech. We're a tier one uh, tech city, uh, but we need to tell that story better, and we made to make sure that we've got the workers for a lot of these startup businesses. Uh, manufacturing has always been one of our strengths. We need to make sure that we're creating uh, new markets for our manufacturing industry. And life sciences, we've got a collection, whether it's um, uh, pharmacy, uh, whether it's hospitals, um, science uh, and research. We are really second to none in this area, and we want to build on those strengths, but then again, match up the workforce with the jobs. So that's really what this report focuses a lot on and healing the trauma that people have suffered in our city. You were talking about some major investments, things like inf infrastructure investment, healthcare investment, uh, training initiatives, and, and, and trying to lure um, things like film and TV productions by, by, I would assume, offering them tax incentives to do that. Um, th those are great plans, but most cities and, and states are facing so a severe drop in their revenue that they've taken in. Where, where do you find the money for all of these investments? Well, look, I think we, we have resources and we have a lot of things that are attractive in the Chicago region. And yes, you're right, everybody is facing uh, resource challenges, revenue challenges, but that's the whole point. If you don't grow the economy, if you don't lure new businesses, if you don't expand existing businesses, then you're not going to have the revenue stream to be able to support uh, vital services that the government provides. We're not, we are looking to grow and not just simply tax the existing um, infrastructure and economy. We We've got to give our businesses some relief, and we do that by growing the economy and focusing on our strengths. And you mentioned uh, uh, television. 
look, when television production restarts anew, we have a plan and a pitch uh, that we're going to take to uh, folks in New York and on the West Coast because we've got the infrastructure here. We've got a great trained um, um, our workforce, and we need to make sure that the Chicago story is one that's on uh, the lips of every booking agent, and that's what we're prepared to do.